Neodymium magnets are strong, much stronger than normal fridge magnets. They can break or pinch skin if mishandled. Adult supervision is required when handling neodymium magnets. Our magnets are used in all sorts of industrial and commercial applications, but in this video, we'll take a look at how you can create a fun game using magnets and materials you have at home. Follow along as we make a magnetic hockey table. It's like an air hockey table, but you don't need to plug it in. Our goal is to use two magnets. One magnet will be the play piece which hits the ball, the other will be under the table being moved by the player. We need to find a magnet combination that is strong, but not too strong. We like our colorful thumbtack magnets as the play piece. We have them in eight colors, which could allow for an eight player tournament. The magnet underneath needs to be tall so we can grab onto it. Before we start playing, we need to do some testing to see which magnets could work best. Here we have a bunch of our thumbtack magnets with various cylinder magnets underneath a piece of three quarter inch plywood. The cylinders are all held in place, but some are weaker than others. This green MagnaView film shows the magnetic field interaction between the magnets. With the smaller, weaker magnets, there is less interaction between the two magnets and more interaction with the viewing film, as you can see by the darker and lighter colors. As the magnets get stronger, the field is more concentrated between the magnets and it isn't shown as much on the film. Distance really matters when talking about magnetic strength. As we decrease the material thickness, even some of the weaker magnets start to show less on the viewing film because they're interacting more with the thumbtack magnets. Now we'll do some practical testing. First, we'll start with a piece of cardboard and our smaller thumbtack magnets to see which cylinder underneath will give us the best feel. We want the thumbtack to stay attracted to the cylinder when it hits the ball, but not so strong that it's hard to move around. Some of the larger cylinder magnets are probably too strong for the cardboard table. Moving up to 3 quarter inch plywood, the smaller magnets aren't strong enough at all. We need much stronger magnets to work through the 3 quarter inch material. Now that we did some testing, let's make a few versions of this game. We'll start simple, using a table and materials that we have laying around. Think of this as the dining room table version. For this, a large thumbtack and a 3 quarter inch by 2 inch cylinder magnet work well here. For the second version, a small thumbtack magnet and a 3 8 by 2 inch cylinder work well.
cardboard is thinner so we can use smaller magnets. Let's play. We liked playing this so much that we made a custom wooden table with a customized playing field. We'll use our larger thumbtack magnet with an extra magnet stacked on top for even more strength, attracting to a large 1 inch by 2 inch cylinder magnet underneath. The total thickness of the material, the wood and the plexiglass, is just about 1 inch. just the quarter inch thick plexiglass, we could definitely use smaller magnets. We had so much fun testing, building, and playing this game. Click the link in the description to see a full summary of all the magnets that we used for each setup. And let us know if you try. Thanks for watching.